What's up guys, welcome back to another SERP with support video. It's Deepak Shukla here and today as we continue through the reports we're talking about total blocking time. So if you um, run the report you'll see in the mobile section you get a page speed summary and within that there's these areas first contentful paint, speed index, um, your LCP, time to interactive. So now we're looking at your total blocking time. So if you've got a high total blocking time, um, everything on ours is high. This being, you know, less than one second, I think is ideal. But ultimately, this is the sum of all time periods between your first content, contentful paint, which is when um, your first kind of, let's say, image, image or um, S, like SVG uh, icon or otherwise appears, and time to interactive, which is when someone can actually engage with the website. And when the task length exceeds 50 milliseconds, then this would be your total blocking time, okay? So um, ultimately, it's the time between, as it says here, the first contentful paint, which as we see is up here, um, the time at which the first text or image appears on the screen, and the time for interaction when someone can actually engage with the site. So if we go over to the Lighthouse report again, let's see um, if there's anything else that it discusses. Um, it's a total amount, of, total amount of time that a page is blocked from responding to a user input. This could be mouse clicks, screen taps, keyboard presses, and the sum is calculated by adding the blocking portion of all long tasks between the first contentful pane and time to interact. So have a look at long task, um, but that's any, any task that executes for more than 50 milliseconds is considered a long task. And the time after that is considered the, block, the blocking portion. So it's basically anything after the 50 milliseconds, which they deduct. So um, again, it's ranked by looking at the top 10,000 sites when ranked on a mobile device. And we've got our speeds here, milliseconds over 600, and we've got um, 3,970. So there you go. Ours is actually incredibly slow. Um, and as it says here, a long JavaScript a long JavaScript task delaying your time to interactive. Learn to diagnose costly work preventing user interaction. So um, there's Chrome development tools that you could use, but of course you could use it all through SerpWiz all in one go. And um, fundamentally, if we have a look at total time blocking improving, um, then it's really centered around the same areas that you want to reduce the JavaScript execution time, minimizing main thread work, um, which is, I think, the processing, and, and then looking at getting rid of unused JavaScript, reducing third-party code, moving them into Google Tag Manager, and looking at some of your JavaScript libraries to you know load images, etc. cetera, uh, you looking at smaller alternatives to them. So um, if we dive a little deeper into this, let's have a look at improved total blocking time, Dan Taylor. Uh, holistic SEO seem to do um, a pretty good job. They keep coming up in these searches, so I'm going to be looking at closely at them from an SEO perspective to see what we can do to improve um, improve these things. But um, is a metric found on optimizing page speed loads, optimizing the critical, um, decreasing the number of requests made by the page, fewer external re CSS resources and JavaScript libraries, optimizing images, loading scripts at the bottom instead of the head, uh, using a CDN we discussed already. Um, inlining style, inline CSS, inline jobs or deferring JavaScript. Is there anything else that's in this total guide? It's really um, in, in importance of response time for the server. It's it's really you know variations around the same thing effectively. So um, you know there's lots of tools that you can measure it with and. Um, Reduce the size of third-party script. We discussed that already. So, guys, um, I think uh, hopefully it's, it's it's pretty clear to you now how to think about total blocking time, what total blocking time measures, and um, you know potential solutions for it. So, I hope that that makes sense. Catch you in the next one.